my way I sure I want it my way My confession set me free, I'll never go away We going up now We was all asleep and now we up now Said he never leaving, now he's stuck around That's a bullet, he the one that told me duck down What's up, family? What's up? What's up, y'all? I'm excited. To, I'm excited to talk to y'all. I'm excited to catch up with y'all. I've missed my YouTube family journeys. That's what I'm about to start calling y'all journeys. If you watch Journey with Jazz, you are a journey. So welcome to the club. And let's just jump right into it. Next isn't nice. Next isn't nice. We go through our lives constantly trying to strive for what is next. Oh, let me hurry up and do this. Oh, let me go to school so I can do this. Oh, let me work at this job for three years and then I'll get this. I'll get this pension. I'll get this retirement. I'll get this promotion. Oh, let me hurry up and get married so I can go ahead and have babies and have a family. Next, 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 next. We're always worried about what's next. Like, why are we in a race? Like, what are we really racing to because as soon as we grab hold of that we're worried about what's next it's like a ladder like as soon as we climb one part of the ladder okay now it's time to climb again and climb again and climb again and then when we think we get to the top there's just another ladder there's just another journey to go on there's just more steps to take another goal to reach another ambition to pursue and i just need us to breathe 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 I hope y'all feel my excitement and my passion because during my three, four months of studying for the Virginia bar exam, I had so many different emotions. Like some days I was like, I got this. Like I'm excited for this. I can do this. Some days I'm like, bro, I'm never going to learn all this stuff. I'm never going to be able to do this. I don't know why God called me for this. Like it was a mixture of emotions, but one of the most prevailing emotions that ran through my mind is after I pass this bar exam like life is just gonna be so glorious and amazing and I finally made it and it's just like well I mean you already got your bachelor's degree I mean you already graduated from high school I mean you graduated from kindergarten I mean wasn't that good enough or do you only feel successful once you reach this goal why wasn't it the last goal why wasn't the last goal like when are you going to be satisfied? And so I had an aha moment. This is what happened. Come here. Come, come, look, come close. Come close. This is what happened. Listen closely. I'm in this group chat, right, with all of my friends from law school. And it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful because we're all in different paths, right? So, like, some of us already took the bar. We're lawyers, right? And they're already practicing. And they're in court. And they're doing this and doing that. Some of us are still in law school and then there's me and another one of our friends we just took the bar exam and we're waiting to get the results like we're all on different paths and so it's beautiful because like we're in the chat and we're just talking about like what's going on you know so for me i'm like y'all pray for me like i'm about to take the bar y'all been through this help me right pray for me right like i'm asking them advice because they already been through it that's what you do people who already been through what you've been through who succeeded who got through it you ask them what did you do and you just do what they do like don't reinvent the wheel I, you know this is aside from my next is it nice message i gotta get this in really quick don't reinvent the wheel if you're doing something that somebody has already done and they're successful in what they're doing do what they're doing people say oh but don't be a copycat no you want to get to where they are correct do what they did why are you reinventing the wheel you're trying stuff Oh, that doesn't work for me. Oh, that's that's not that's not gonna work for me. Do what they did, like, duh. So anyway, I asked them like, okay, how many hours did you put in a day? And like, when did you just take when did you take breaks? Like, when did you spend time with family? You know, I'm asking them all this stuff. Anyway, one day, right? One of them gets in the chat and they're like, oh my gosh, like I'm so nervous. This week I got trials. I get to try these cases by myself, like. I don't know what I'm gonna do like this is so stressful right and I'm in my mind I'm like wait like you're stressed you passed the bar like you reached the goal that I'm currently trying to reach and you mean to tell me like life isn't sweet like you're still stressed out like you're still overwhelmed what like what am I actually rushing towards right and so another one of my lawyer friends are just like yeah like 
oh my god i had a breakdown last week and i just cried at my desk and i had to go pray because i was just so overwhelmed and you know they're just we're encouraging each other showing love and whole time i'm just thinking like bro you mean to tell me like that's on the other side of this like that's what's next like after i reach this goal i'm still gonna be stressed and overwhelmed like what and wait you can take that two ways the one way to take it is like bro my life sucks like like i'm actually what am i heading towards like it's still gonna suck and that's the way you should not take it instead take it like this you have to appreciate where you are be content where you are celebrate how far you've come that's the way that you should interpret that because there are going to be challenges and storms and obstacles wherever you go. I don't care if you're Bill Gates. I don't care if you have all the money in the world. People say, oh, like if I had more money, I would be fine. Where do you think more money, more problems slogan came from? Where do you think that came from? Like more money, more problems. Life still has its challenges, right? Like we go to the Bible god promised the israelites the promised land the promised land the promised land and for those that actually seen the the the, the promised land the land flowing with the milk and honey they still had to march around the wall of jericho right they still had battles that they had to fight and and territories that they had to take dominion over like they could not just lay up on a beach and listen to the sound of the waves like that's kind of what we think is going to happen once we reach these goals once we get to our promised land it's still gonna be hard there's still gonna be challenges so what we do is what i started doing was realizing like wow god like you got me so far look how far you've carried me like look at all these obstacles i faced like oh my gosh like i remember my second year the end of my first year i was pregnant I had to go home i took classes from home like i literally didn't know what the future held i could not even envision myself as a lawyer because i'm at home with a baby studying for the bar you know my family and my husband had been extraordinary supportive extraordinarily supportive during this process but you know it was still days i was home with kamari and like how am i going to get there you know and we think about that when we're in our process but sometimes there's beauty in the process like i'm with my son you know, I'm about to start work and he's going to be in preschool. I'm not going to be with him during those hours. So I started to appreciate, like, I'm spending time with him. Like, okay, maybe not because I'm studying, but I'm home with him. I'm home with him. I'm home. Like, I don't have to be somewhere at a certain time and rush in the morning and hurry up and stay there all day and do this and do that. Like, what I'm carrying right now, God is giving me the strength to carry. And so when I get into my next season, he's going to give me the strength to carry that as well. Celebrate how far you've come celebrate where you are be grateful and just learn everything in this season it may not be where you want to be right but there's some reason why you're there and there's so much to gain out of the season that you're in there's so much that you can be benefiting from and learning in ways you can be growing you know and like now being thrown into my legal career it's just like i'm not gonna say i'm ready but i've taken the time like i prepared while i was home while I was waiting. Next isn't always nicer. The grass isn't always greener. Like, can we just stop and love where we are? Can we just stop and love the people that are in our lives? Even with their stuff, even with their flaws, even with their mistakes, like can we still hug them and appreciate them? Because guess what? Tomorrow is not promised. We are rushing to something that's not even promised. We're rushing to something that's so uncertain. Like. What if they canceled the bar exam? Like, what if they just said, sorry, like COVID, you guys have to wait another year. What would I do? Like, would I feel like my life is over? No, because I have a family, because I'm loved and appreciated and God is with me and he's been with me and he's faithful and he's a way maker and he's a provider. Like, he's going to make it work. He's going to make it work. Next isn't always nicer. What is in your life right now that you're taking for granted? What is in your life right now that... You just, you got to shift your perspective and appreciate it and take a breath. Like, Breathe. yes, continue to reach your goals. Yes, you know, set high goals and the sky's the limit. I get all of that. But what about right now? Like five years ago, where you are right now was your dream and you're in it. Like it was my dream to graduate law school and I've done it. I've done it. I couldn't wait to get married. I couldn't wait to have a baby boy. And I have that. 
I love where I am right now. Can, can y'all just say that with me? I love where I am right now. I'm not rushing to what's next. Next isn't always nicer. Next will have its challenges and its struggles, but God is going to equip me to face those battles then the same way he's equipping me to fight these battles now. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.